Hello everyone, I am Ms. Namita and this is Number Work. Today we will learn how we can count the objects in the group of 10. Yes. Let's see. So, for example, here are some triangles. I am going to put tick and count it. It's very important that you put a tick when you are counting the object. Okay, let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. We are making the group of tens. Maybe one ten or more tens, but we are making group of tens. So here we stop because we have found ten. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Here we will stop because we have found 10 objects, 10 triangles, and now we are going to make a group of 8. So we, you can take your pencil, crayon or something, and put them in a group. So this is the group of 10. And this is how many group? Only one group. This is the one group. Let's try to find more groups with 10. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3. These are only 3. So you see, we cannot put them in a group of 10 because they are only 3. So what we'll do, we cannot put them in a group of 10. We'll count them 1, just as 1 unit. So these are 1, 1, 1. How many 1s we have? We have 1, 2, 3. We have 3 1s. 3 1s. So you see, tens and ones. We have three ones. So here in the colorful ones, I'm writing three. And how many tens we have? We got ten one time. One time. So one ten. So in the column of tens, we will write one. So we have one ten and three ones, which cannot be in the group. Okay. Now, time is to count them all together. So let's put a small cross and count total how many uh, triangles we have in all together, okay? In total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen triangles. So, I'm writing 13. T stands for tens and O stands for ones. You see, either you count by the group or you count them all together, the answer is the same because the number of triangles is the same. I hope you understood. I have another example uh, which I would like to show you. I'm using the papers actually. It's very essential that we are saving paper when we are working with papers okay so here we have some squares let's see how many squares are there but we are going to use the same strategy group of tens tens one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten yeah so we have 10 squares. Can we put them in the group? Yes, we can put them in the group because we are making group of 10s. Let's do it and put them in the group of 10s. And here we see we have one group of 10s. One group of 10. So we can write here in the column of 1, 10. Now let's see. Do we have some more triangle uh, squares left? No, we don't have any more square. It means how many ones we have? Hmm, we don't have any ones left. What do we do now? When we have nothing, we write zero. Right? Zero means nothing. So let's write zero here. So we have one ten and, uh, and zero ones. No ones. Zero means nothing. Remember this. Zero means nothing. Now time is to count them all together. 
the how many they are in total. So the same will do, we'll put a cross and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have total ten squares. So D stands for tens and O stands for one. And I will write one, zero, ten. And see, both numbers are the same. So hope you understood the strategy of counting objects in the group. I have some more examples. I would like to go with some pictures of flowers. Yeah. And we are going to do the same strategy group of 10. So let's go down and find out 10 flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We found ten. Let's put them in the group. And it's super easy now because you know the strategy very well. Okay, so we have one group of ten. Now, we still have some flowers left, so we are going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these are ten. Let's put this square. We found one group and one more group of tens. Two groups. So right here, one, one more group. So we got two groups of tens. So now we are going to write the number two in the group or in the column of tens. Two. Okay. Now, do we have more flowers left? Hmm. We don't have flowers left anymore. So when we don't have any more, what we do? We take it as nothing. So we don't have anything. And we write zero. So we don't have ones anymore. We write zero over here. Good job. And the time is to count them all together. You already know these are 10. So you need to write you need to count this again. We'll go further. 10. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20. T stands for 10 and O stands for 1. 20. And I'm writing 20 here. 20. 20. Same. It means we have counted correctly. Okay. Let's take another example. One more example I have. And this is with hearts. Okay. So we are going to do the same strategy and that is group of 10s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And stop. We found 10 hearts. We are going to put them in a group. Okay? So we found one group. Now let's see. We still have some hearts. So we are going to count them and find, try to find the 10 hearts. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oops! We have only 9 hearts. We don't have 10. Can we make the group? Haha, <laughs> we cannot make the group. So we are going to count them 1 1. 1 1 1 1 1. 1 1 1 1. So they are 1s. You see, these are 10s and these are 1s. So how many 10s we have? We have only one time. Only one time 10s. So in the group of tens, we in the column of tens, we write one ten. And how many ones we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine ones. These are ones. Remember, because we cannot put them in the group of tens, so they all are ones. So we write them here: nine ones in the column of nine ones. These are nine. Our time is to count them all together. We know these are ten. Come forward, 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have in total 19 hearts. And you see, T stands for 10s and O stands for 1s. Numbers are same. That's really good. Okay, moving to more examples. The next we have is, yeah, this is the last example I'm taking. We have the triangles. Let's see how many we have, okay? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are only six. 
and what we are doing, we are making the group of 10. Do we have 10? Hmm, we don't have 10. We have 6, only 6. And can we, can we put them in the group? Hmm, we can't put them in the group because it doesn't match us to our strategy. Our strategy says make the group of 10. Okay, so this is, this cannot be in the group. We are, going, we are going to count them as ones. One, 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 one. How many are these triples? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. Six ones. So the column of ones we write six. But how many tens? We don't have any more rectangular. So how many tens? We don't have tens anymore. Nothing. And that's zero. When we don't have something, we write zero for that. We don't have tens. So zero and ones and six. Here you see ten tens. One ones. So there's no difference between ten and tens. Okay? The only thing is that we are making them group. Okay? So let time is to count them all together. This will help us to cross check that we have counted correct or not. So let's, I'm going to put it across and let's count uh, along. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, because we have ones, six ones, O stands for ones and six. And tens, how many tens we have? We don't have any tens. We don't write anything here. Or if you want to write, you can write only zero. So we have total six rectangular. So hope it's very easy and simple for you. Try this strategy, the worksheet given and the exercises given for solving and I'm sure you will enjoy this. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.